Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. It's Chuck here. We got a list of seven properties. I'll try and make it a nice quick one. First one up is 630 Frank Place. It's a Brent Ridge End, so it's just under 1,300 square feet. And you've got an eat-in kitchen, hardwood floors. Now, I looked at this and I thought, is this the smaller model? Normally, the models that are like 300 square feet smaller than this are selling for the same price. And then I looked at the description and it said they're taking offers on a, on a date. And I don't remember the date exactly. It's a couple days in the future. This one will sell for more than asking. They've really tried to use that Toronto approach of really, you know, drastically underlisting and then hopefully having enough demand that they're going to, uh, to sell it. Be interesting to see because Milton doesn't have the same culture of multiple offers and things like that. They do happen, but to have it orchestrated and to have such a low price here... I'm not sure. It'll be. I'm, I'm watching this one really close. June 8th is their magic date to uh, for possession, and Hinchy Crescent's the next one. It's it's 434.9, and it's a semi-detached, about 1,900 square feet, four bedrooms. It looks like immediate possession. There's no photos yet. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what's up with this one. It kind of looks like it's a little higher than, than some of the other semis for the same square footage, but if it's nice, it could work out. Clover Park is at five, 459. Very unique and interesting floor plan. It's on a 40 by 100 foot lot. It backs onto dairy, which is going to turn off some buyers. It can get a bit loud behind these homes. It's a really neat floor plan because you come upstairs and then you've got this this room and then you also have a kitchen sort of in between. It's hard to explain. So that's the that looks like the front room. There's a bit of a walk through, and it, you can kind of see they've they've done some renovations on the cabinets. This gives you the best sense. So that so that off the kitchen you go to this room here and then there's another room just over to the side. Really neat, not as open concept, but it's it's like you've probably never seen anything like this floor plan before. Uh, 459, last year one of these sold, uh, same thing backing onto dairy, and it was a little bit lower than this, but you figure price appreciation, they might have a shot. The double garage at 459, we do see a lot of homes that have that, so if there's enough upgrades, maybe it's going to cancel out on price. Uh, Babcock is 459.9. And we're talking about about a 1,900 square foot home with a finished basement. You've got a balcony walkout on top. Uh, inside, there's no hardwood, but it looks like it's designed very, very well. The kitchen looks good, and it would compare to some of the, the Mattamies, the Powells, Poddingtons, and we've seen a good upkick on those ones. Nice thing about this one, it's probably closer to the GO train than almost all the Mattamy stuff, all the stuff by the escarpment, so location might benefit them, and, and you could probably even park two cars side by side, which is a, a real positive thing. So, excuse me, I think these guys are going to do really, really well. Uh, we've seen that nice little, the, the heels have dug in, and they've really jumped up in the last probably 30 days. Monaghan is, I believe, a, a Spirit Plan 6, 529, and we've seen them sell for a bit less. I think this one has some good upgrades. Um, I think there's tremendous value in this floor plan. I really like this floor plan. Uh, you've got diagonal 45 floors. There's a small office, then there's a dining room, and then just to the right is uh, is the family room. That's what you see right there. And you've got the kitchen, nice backsplash, light colors, uh, den upstairs, and then there's four other bedrooms plus a, uh, a laundry. So good stuff all around. Kind of a standard 36 by 88 foot lot. Monaghan's a good street too. There's lots of parks. There's a huge park that's walking distance from this home. Okay, so it's just over 2,300 square feet. Hume Way is at 689.9. It's a Tothberg, 3331 square feet with a finished basement. And decent upgrades inside. I think the kitchen looks good. I like the, uh, the counter upgrades. I like the built-in appliances. Sometimes that real stark white cabinet maybe doesn't really impress. You know, it's hard to tell from the photos. We do see sometimes that... Um, that, that certain tones of white don't, they look more sort of Home Depot-ish. And I don't want to say that this is one of those. It would be something you'd have to just check out. Hood fan, pot lights, it looks like they've certainly done a great job. There's a butler's pantry just off the kitchen. Uh, you've got a good looking master with a fireplace. There's your ensuite. The nice high ceiling really has a, a nice dramatic effect. And there's the open stairs. And I think people paid something like $14,000 to have an open staircase leading down and then you've got the the finished area down there. So 
it's looking good to me. Hume Way is a great street. There's all big homes there. It's uh, it's probably, I would guess, maybe six, seven years old, this home. And I think it's the right price. And they've got an extra bathroom, it looks like, downstairs. All put together very well. So Crawford is at 879. It's in Campbellville. And it's great. I mean, it's a, it's that sort of executive home that, that a lot of people are really shooting for. And probably, I mean, you've got the, the wood and melamine cabinets, so you're probably looking at a bit of work done in the kitchen. The floor plan looks terrific, though, and nice high ceilings. The layouts of these homes are just so different and nice, and, and it's just that they're just not square boxes. They have a lot of fun to them, and it looks like a two-and-a-half car garage, which is interesting. I don't know if maybe one of them is just a little shorter. Nice staircase there, too, and you've got a basement with a theater and all the rest of it. So great stuff. I mean, you're walking distance to the grocery store. You've got some fun places that you could walk from this home and kind of that classic Campbellville look. And, and if you're the thing about these homes, though, is a lot of them are getting close to that time where they need some work. So definitely keep an eye on furnace, roof, windows, all the rest of it. It's one thing to do a kitchen, but you also want to make sure that you're not spending a lot of money on the other stuff, or if you get in at the right price, you've got the budget for it. So that's the list for today. If you have any questions, give us a call. If you want to see anything, give us a call. And if you're coming to town on the weekend, just meet us at Starbucks. Just come on a tour. Lots of ways that we can get in touch. Have a great day.